this is the corner of my bedroom that I do most of my editing or all, pretty much all of the editing. It's gonna change. I think we'll change right now. There we go. I finally bought a standing desk. As you saw in one of my other videos, we went to Ikea and tried to put a bunch of stuff in the back of the Model 3. We were able to get this tabletop in there along with this cabinet plus a desk chair. So it's quite a bit we were able to fit in the Model 3. Uh, I ended up buying this standing desk on Amazon. It's a motorized standing desk. And I'll show you how that works. I'm, this is still a work in progress. You see all the wires there. I hate seeing wires. I'm in the process of getting new wires and I'm gonna run them down the back of the legs so you don't see them. But I, this, this desk does have cable management system underneath it so you can hide all these wires and then just have minimal wires hanging down, which is really nice. Up top I have a 5K iMac and I have an older iMac. They're both 27 inch monitors. And this one is hooked up to this one so I can actually have a dual setup, obviously. I can have YouTube comments on one side while I'm editing another video because I'm editing a lot more, obviously now. I'm posting a lot of videos. I'm trying to post every uh, Monday through Friday of every week. I'm gonna try to keep up, keep that up and see how long I can do that. It's not very good to sit at a desk for hours. It's really good for you to get up and down, uh, stand up and down within the hour, at least a few times. And for me personally, I, I like to stand a lot. I stand in my job quite a bit, so. Uh, sitting just makes me feel stagnant a little bit. So uh, this over here is a, let me show you. This is something here I started to make a little while ago. I made a frame out of curly maple. Uh, I cut the Tesla logo out of MDF and I ended up, I don't like the finish of this. This is gonna be kind of a work in progress. Uh, the finish is terrible on this because it's MDF. I planed it down a little bit so it's really rough and I nailed it to this, so I wanna cut, I wanna fill those holes. And all this is on a curly maple frame, which is really nice, has a nice reveal on it, but I'm a, I wanna take this off and pour some different colored resins over top of the Tesla logo and kinda set this back into here. So you'll, you'll see this change throughout the videos that I do here. This is something I thought was pretty cool. Wanted to tie it into the whole Tesla theme. And this wood is renewable, I got this from an auction uh, from a, a furniture making a furniture factory that went out of business. So I ended up buying a bunch of uh, wood there instead of it going to waste. Uh, I got a great deal on this curly maple, which is really rare. Also, you see these two stands here. When you're standing at a stand-up desk, you kind of want the, de the the monitors up a little bit higher. So these are uh, five inches, I believe, maybe four and a half inches. Not positive. These are both about the same height. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna change these out. I'm gonna make new ones. I like how this little cubby's here for the mouse. I use the trackpad, but I also have the mouse as well. But I wanna make something that I can fit the keyboard underneath on both of these, because this is an external monitor, but this can also be its own computer just by hitting a couple buttons. So uh, it is nice to have, you can have both computers going here. So my wife can be working on something and I can work on something as well. But I'd like the, the keyboard to fit right underneath there on both of these, just to give a, a bigger clearing for the desk. This is actual wood, solid desktop. Uh, I believe it's an inch and a quarter thick. It's either birch or maple. They're both really close, or a mixture of it. Let me show you underneath here. Underneath here, I just threw the printer. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna put the printer yet. I haven't found a good spot for it. I may move, slide everything down a little bit and then put the printer on that other side so it clears out that whole section. I haven't quite decided that yet because I don't have that much room because of this cabinet. This cabinet's really nice. We got this at Ikea as well. Uh, they're long cabinet, long drawers, a lot like uh, a lot like when you go to the bank and get a safety deposit box. And they're long, ooh, geez. I guess it is like a safety deposit box. Long, deep drawers, you can put a lot of stuff into them. The way this desk actually works is really nice. It's electronic. So you have a memory seat, a memory standing. So you hold the memory button down and then you just hit one if you want to go to the seating position. Let me back up and you can see it drop down. It's really quiet. And it actually will end up right on the top. It just stops when it hits that cabinet over there, which is perfect. Almost perfect height. It's a little low, but I like it that way because the monitors up are up a little bit higher. And if you want to go two is actually my wife's standing height. And you can see it moves pretty quickly and quietly. There's there's a motor on each leg, so it can actually lift 220 pounds, I believe. 
which is more than enough. These iMacs are only 20 pounds each. The desk is probably the heaviest thing on there. Uh, and I lean on it and it's pretty stable. But let's go back to, back up to my height here. So I'm a little taller. I'm six foot five and this can go even higher. Can't really do it right now because my ethernet cable is not long enough. I have actually just arrived today. I haven't put it in a 10 foot ethernet cable to run all along down the wall. Definitely like ethernet. We do have gigabit uh, internet here. So it's always best to run ethernet if you can. And then you can also customize where you want it. If you want to just lower it yourself and it'll stop. There's also a timer feature. That's what the T stands for. If you're going to be sitting for a little while and you don't want, and you want to remember, remind yourself to stand back up, you can actually set a timer or if you want to only want to stand for a little bit, maybe it hurts your back a little bit to stand for too long. So you, you can use that timer feature. I personally don't, I usually, I mostly stand until the evening. I get a little tired. I will lower the, the desk. Let me show you the mess of wires right now, but this is the name of the desk. I'll have a, a link to the in the description below for this desk. This desk was only at the time $329, I believe, on Amazon. Great deal. There's a motor here and a motor over here. So it's they make a single motor setup, which is a little bit cheaper if you wanted to, if you didn't have a huge desk. What you can actually widen the desk. By, by separating it here, it goes even farther out than this this is. But you have a tray here to hide all the wires. You can actually mount the tray here, or I put it in the back to hide even more because I do have my surge protector mounted up there and I wanted to run the wires back and forth. The controller is right here for the two motors and it's a great setup. I, I'm loving it right now. Once I tidy up all these wires, run it down this, this pole here and you won't see any wires that'll be perfect once I find a good spot for the printer. One thing that I do need to change is the lighting in this corner. The lighting in here is very bad. Uh, you know, I've got the lights behind the computer right now, but I want to get something that kind of illuminates the whole area a little brighter, maybe something above me, uh, or even something that comes up all over the computers and sits a little bit higher to light up the whole desk area. That's one thing I'm going to work on, but first things first, I got to tidy up those wires and um, build these new stands that, so I can organize some things a little bit better. I hope you liked this video. I know it's not Tesla related, even though I do have a Tesla picture back there. Just want to give you a little insight on how I edit the videos. I actually do use, if you're interested, right now I do use iMovie to edit my videos. I'm going to be jumping to Final Cut uh, and probably later this year. Uh, this is actually a video that I'm going to be doing soon of a dash cam, a DDPi 3 dash cam. It's a lot like the Blackview cameras without the price of the Blackview cameras. A lot of cool features with this one as well. There's a parking mode uh, and built-in storage. You don't have to buy a memory card. It has, I think a, uh, I think a 30 gig or 32 gig uh, built-in storage. So it's hardwired into it. So let me know what you think about the desk. If you're interested in the desk, uh, click the link in the description, it's from Amazon. Along with, I'll have another. I'll have a list of all the stuff I bought, and the things I use to edit the videos and shoot the videos with. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And click that bell button if you want to get notified on when I post these new videos. Although I am pretty much posting every Monday through Friday at about right around 9:30 in the morning. So look for me then. See you on the next one. Thanks.